March saw a game-changing update. How will changes in gameplay affect the elite group? Art of War burst onto the scene with 11 three-star Sonic Sodius. Can they continue their climb up the rankings? As the many new clans duke it out, which clans will emerge as a genuine threat? We've got an amazing video this rankings period. We've got 49 elite wars. The elite group is 28 clans. We've got four new clans in the group and um, four going out of the group. We have some just insane updates and probably what everyone's wondering is what's been the impact of the update on the elite group and some of the war results. Back down, uh, back around to the um, commentary on this initial section. I've just picked one of the replays from the recent In the Dark versus Art of War war. Just an incredible war. Um, but enjoy that while we're just um, talk briefly about the state of the game. The biggest change this ranking period was the update on 1st of May. And look, that clearly has um, made significant changes to the clan wars, as you can see in the results. Two things I want to cover. First is, um, at last, there's been a change in the game gameplay. They've introduced a new defense, the air blower. But I've got to say, look, I'm not seeing that having big effects on attack and defense at the moment. It looks like a pretty weak defense. It's certainly no Inferno. And like maybe people can adapt and work out some way to use it effectively. But really, we're not seeing, I, I'm not seeing huge effects on raids with what looks like a pretty um, weak and moderate defense at the moment. Second thing I want to touch on is very briefly is um, game mods. Now, I don't like talking about this topic and I'm certainly not promoting the use, but I, I know there were changes in the update which we wouldn't talk about which uh, impact game mods. Now look, I actually think long term the game is better off without those sorts of game mods being around and particularly on Clan Wars uh, and for two reasons. One is it creates unfair matchups where you get clans using game mods versus clans not using game mods. And the second thing is I think Clans, clans using a lot of game mods end up burning a lot of players out um, through it almost becoming a full-time job. And I don't think that's what we want in the game. I think it wants to be fun. It should be skills-based, and wars should be fair and skills-based. So it's nice to see them taking some action on that. But um, one request, or, or I guess a suggestion, I would make to Supercell in doing that is look. Up. I think it's it's fair to remember that the scoring system is somewhat broken. Like the, the two, one, two, three star system was developed for league play. It was not developed for clan wars. And there's such a huge difference between a two star and a three star. I think there needs to be a, a new level introduced. And because the big concern is if you if you fix up um, game mods in the game at the top of the game, you might completely destroy clan wars because you might see draw after draw after draw. I would really like to see a four star system. One two stars being the same, three stars being at 75, four stars being at 100. And that way, um, you're never going to get draws and. As long as you're never going to get draws, the war is going to be fun and school based. So, Supercell, continue what you're doing in terms of addressing mods, but for goodness sake, if you're going to do so, um, fix up the scoring system at the same time. So, in terms of the group, we've got 28 clans this period. I've made a couple of changes. So, in terms of the changes, um, clans who are out, uh, Paul Peninsula Shield out. Look, I just haven't seen them in any of the war logs for quite some time, haven't been able to get a copy of their war log. Uh, look, I don't think they're fighting elite wars, otherwise they'd be showing up in other logs, so I'm pulling them from the group. Uh, Unity Elite uh, also pulled them from the group. Um, Yunyu uh, and KMA, uh, they have actually um, demerged as at 19th of May. So what I've done there is Yunyu have retired and MKMA come back in the group and I bring them back in on their old point score. And uh, uh, Yunyu um, Zizun, uh, one of their feeders, they've also um, broke, uh, retired as a group, so um, they're out of the group. Now, other cl the clans that come in, uh, uh, Feng Zhu Bi Zhao, um, Fuzi Zhao Lin, uh, Utopia OP, and Zhao Dao Zhao Nao Zhao Xing Fu. 
Now we've got a lot of matchups to work through, so I'll work through them as fast as I can. Just a reminder in terms of how the scoring works, the scoring is based on the ELO method, based on the relative um, scores of the clans when they meet at the time, and also whether the clans win, lose or draw. Uh, with the one adjustment, which is if a clan's more than 400 points apart, the favourite wins, the favourite gets no points and it effectively is nil all on the points regardless of the result. Uh, now, first uh, matchup of the rating period was Shen Zhu versus Lin Yong, and that was 90 all, um, relatively even on points, so only three points to Shen Zhu for that win. Next, Hitman versus Indo Eternity. Hitman significantly in front, so only got 19 points for that win. Then we had VN Champions versus Farming Kings, 98 95. In the Dark versus Exodius. Gosh, I would have liked to win that war, but um, it was actually 19 three stars versus 14, um, but no points for In the Dark for beating Exodius because it's much slower on the right table. And VN Champions versus Indo Eternity, 88 versus 76. Next, 26th of April, 300 face Lin Yung. 300, put a lot of three stars on there. Look at that, 91-86. And that looks like a 40 versus 40 matchup. So very good result for them. And they're clearly getting, a, we're starting to get a lot of three stars at that time. Being champions, beat Thailand Pro 97-90. Uh, obviously they were their favorites there, so no points for them that way. Um, Yun Yu MKMA beat Farming Kings 99-93. Exodius beat VN Air Force and put five three stars on them, so it's 5 2, uh, 64 points for Exodius there. And finally, um, Farming Kings and Thailand Pro, a draw 95 all. So 30th of April saw Art of War meet Shenzhou, and look at that result. That was a 45 versus 45 war. There is 22 three stars versus 20. So look, that both said, Art of War on the scene, they're a serious clan, they can put on 22 three stars, but Shen Zhu, 23 stars, wow, that really says they have got some talent in that clan. Next, Dao Min versus CN1, a draw 85 all. Uh, Dao Min obviously ranked significantly higher than CN1, so only got four points for that win. Uh, then Hitman versus Ferris to Arms, Hitman picked up 70 points with a two three star win. China Rush, one of the new clans on there, look at that versus Indo Celestial, five three stars they put on them and picked up uh, 67 as they enter the rankings. Then finally, Feng Chan versus Farming Kings, you'd expect that result, 99-93, no points to Feng Tan because they're miles in front of Farming Kings, more than 400, so they get no points for that win. 2nd of May, now this is where the update hits, so you see changes in the scores, you see Lowly and Shushu meeting Indo Celestial, putting on uh, three stars in a, uh, three three stars in a 45 versus 45 wall, uh, being miles in front, no points for them for that war. Then 300 versus Sinju, um, 300, fair few three stars there, they might have got some of those before the update. Uh, but look at that, um, 31 points for 300. They have a great run this period. You just got to see them win and win and win. Next, Art of War, um, continuing their climb up the rankings with a win over Farming Kings, 94 to 90, a post update score, um, 64 points for Art of War. Then Getting Art, this is interesting, look, Getting Dark versus your new MKMA, 84 all tie. Um, 74 points for the tie for getting dark because it's an upset tie, but a great win for them. Now, I made a bit of an error when I um, did these rankings. I kind of, I think I must, must have mucked up the dates, and uh, I've got this um, uh, particular plan or result in twice. It actually doesn't affect the rankings. Getting dark is still at the rank they are at the end, uh, but I will adjust for that next period when I redo, when I do the next vid. Next, down men versus hit men, uh, 45 versus 45 all, 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 a tie, 90 all, and 36 points for Dalmin for that uh, upset tie. So 4th of May saw VN champs face Ferris the Arms, then a, another, another clan Hitmen on the 6th of May. You can see they both won, won both of those, you expect them to win both, and no points for them because they're more than 400 in front. Then two huge upsets, right? So Indo Eternity beat CN1, 82-81. Great result for Indo Eternity, 179 points for that win, uh, and uh, you know well-deserved. Um, you know, it's lovely to see them put on um, three stars and just look at how many points you can gain if you start um, putting on the threes. Next, huge, another huge upset, 300 versus Saigon by night. 300 win with eight three stars to one against Saigon by night, 174 points, a huge win for them. That will see them advance significantly up the rankings and pull Saigon significantly down. But uh, 300 you'll see through this period on a real charge. Finally, um, Thailand Pro versus Getting Dark. Real surprise, a tie. Uh, Thailand Pro getting 69 points for the upset tie. 8th of May and Feng Chen show up at last. Uh, Feng Chen facing Ferris to Arms, 93-90. Gee, that's surprising, only three three stars. But I guess that they had a bit of a break after the update, I think, to let things settle. And I guess they were trying to, um, just adjusting for the update at that, at that um, stage. Look, they're so far out in front, 
you know, you've got to rate them. So, you know, three 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 star wins as good as a one three star win. So, as good as a twenty three star win. So, um, three zip and no points change hands there because I um, think Tian Miles in front. Getting Tark versus YYMKO. I've covered that result already. This was an error in the points. It doesn't affect the rankings. I'll just touch on that again, but I'll exclude that next time when I redo the calcs. Next, Feng Chan versus Hitman. 96-91. You'd expect that result. No points for Feng Chan being miles in front. In the Dark versus VN Champions. Now, this was a hard-fought war. Uh, and In the Dark, um, pull it off again. 89-83. Really solid win. 54 points for In the Dark with that win over VN Champs. Next is... Fuzi Zhao Lin versus Lin Yong. So Fuzi Zhao Lin, wow, that's an upset. Uh, they're one of the new clans in the group. 84-83 win over Lin Yong. 142 points because they're new to the group. They're coming in at a pretty low score. And, you know, just a huge win for them. So 13th of May, we've got uh, Yun Yu MKMA versus VN Enforce. This is where they must have been thinking of starting to retire because look, they're, they're warring at 25s there. They still win, beat VN Air Force. No points for them because they're miles up on points. Uh, but um, clearly they were thinking of retiring at that point or demerging and running 25. So um, can't read too much into that result. Uh, next, Getting Dark versus CN1. Uh, getting Dark being well in front. No points for them, but you expect them to win 83-81. Um, VN Champs versus Dao Min. Very close. You know, shows you how good Dao Min are. 85-84. Um, solid result for them. No points change, change hands because VN Champs is uh, in front of them, or miles in front. But um, it shows that Dao Min are improving and improving. And I think that's reflected in their ranking at the end of the vid. Next, Lin Yong versus Farming Kings. They um, pull off a significant win. 83-82. 119 points for them. Farming Kings... Gosh, they've had a tough draw through this period. They've, they've fought some really hard clans if you look through it. Um, but 83 82, they lost to Lin Yong and 190 points for Lin Yong. Finally, 300 win again versus Indo Eternity 83 to 80. Uh, and no points for them because they're miles in front of Indo Eternity. So, 16th of May saw two pretty evenly matched up um, clans in terms of points um, Hitmen versus Art of War. And you ended up with a tie 96 all. Um, so, Hitmen um, getting their three star potential back. Um, get 39 points for the slight upset draw um, but you know a hard fought match you can see that one 96 all I think Art of War were behind a lot of the way on that next 300 versus um, Fuzi Zhao Lin uh, and a really close one and th that says a lot for how Fuzi Zhao Lin's going um, 7 3 stars on 300 but 300 continue their charge 300 being what a long way ahead on points get no points for that but almost lost a lot of points with an upset there Next, Saigon Vionite versus Farming Kings. You expect that result, 76-72. Utopia OP, one of the new clans, beat CN1, so 79 points for Utopia OP. And finally, Art of War versus Ferris to Arms. A couple of points there. Um, Ferris to Arms was still within 400 points when they matched. And 101 to 90, really solid win from them. Look, 11 three stars. They're clearly adapting well to the update and starting to put in a lot of threes. So 18th of May, we've got Lin Yung versus Thailand Pro. Lin Yung getting their three star form back. Um, eight three stars on Thailand Pro, 98-90. Then you've got Fing Chan. Um, again, sort of adapt, G they adapted the update quickly. Um, up to 11 three stars against uh, Loli, Loli and Shushu. Um, 101 to 94. So you can see them coming back. Just took them a little while to adapt to the um, update, but clearly getting hit in form again because um, Loli and Shushu are a good plan. Utopia OP. Um, very great result for them against Saigon by night, 90 points for 73 all, uh, and for a new clan, you know, entering the, the group in style. Then Loli and Shushu versus China Rush, 85-82, um, 46 points to Loli and Shushu. And finally, Dao Min versus Exodius, um, damn it, this makes it one win apiece, um, 74 to 73, beat Exodius by one, and 97 points to Dao Min. Finally, four more results to finish the ranking period. 22nd of May, Thailand Pro versus Utopia OP, a tie. Uh, and like they're very close on the table, so Thailand Pro just gets 16 points for that. Then In the, ta in the Dark versus Fangzhou Bizu. And In the Dark, as you'd expect, would win that uh, matchup and uh, sort of won that pretty solidly, 76 72. China Rush versus Lin Yong, there's an upset. Uh, so China Rush. New to the group, 84, 9 3, so 89-84, 9-3 stars on Lin Yung. Wow, so 150 points for them. That will see them climb very quickly up the rankings. And the final matchup of the period, what an upset this was. Like I was thinking in the dark, uh, you know, 
possibly better than Feng Tian. They've been winning and winning and winning for so long and fighting lots of big wars. Um, if you haven't seen Feng Tian in many big wars lately, um, they're clearly exceptionally good, but you know, you're just wondering whether In the Dark would, could upset them. And then Art of War comes along and does this, 102 to 100. They get 189 points for that win. A huge, huge upset. And that will see Art of War climb into the top 10. By request, we're going to move back to the old format of a countdown. So just starting out, there's um, four clans that aren't ranked at the moment. Exodia Salit, um, Xiao Dao, Xiao Niao, Xiao Xing Fu, um, Fu Si Zai Lin, and Hu Sha Long Su. I'll just touch on Hu Sha Long Su. Um, they are... Like I, I can't get a copy of their logs and I haven't seen them in any of the Elite Clan logs so I'm just putting them down as missing in action uh, can't, don't really know what size they're warring at the moment so that's the reason they're excluded from the rankings now getting into the top 24 rank 24 with two losses and a draw we have CN1 now look I think this probably understates their ranking they had a draw with um, uh, Dao Min which is a very good clan but they just a loss to Indo and Eternity um, really hit their points, so they're um, down at rank 24. 23, we have VN Air Force, rank 22, Indo Celestial, then rank 21, look, a great result for them against CN1, 82-81 win, but huge point score for them, so deservedly up the rankings, Indo Eternity. Rank 20, Ferris to Arms. Now rank 19, what we have is Farming Kings. Now, Farming Kings have had seven elite wars this period. Look, I don't think they're actually warring that badly. They, you know, lost to VN Champions at 98-95. They faced uh, YYMKMA, uh, you know, another really tough war, 99-93. Uh, they faced Thailand Pro with, Pro with a draw. Uh, then they faced Fing Chan, 99-93. So they've had a, you know, they've, then they faced Art of War. So they've had a, some really, really tough matchup. So not surprising that they've, you know, had a tough run. But they're actually putting on three stars and actually running okay. So look, um, I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't sweat the results too much. They're clearly warring very well and warring very hard. And I expect to see them jump up the ranking. 18 Exodius with. Two losses and a win this period, lost to In The Dark. Put on 14 three stars, but In The Dark put on 19. They're hard to beat. Uh, also to VN Air Force, um, had a win there, but then lost to Dao Min. So I think it's uh, one win, one draw, and one loss to Dao Min now. So that's turning into a, an epic contest in between those two clans. 17, Shen Zhu. They've had a bit of a mixed bag. They, they drew with Lin Yong, and then they, they had an amazing war versus Art of War prior to the update, where they lost 20. 22 to 20 so they put on 23 stars that's pretty impressive going but then following the update they had a war against 300 where they failed to clear the bases so who's those who's knows what's going on with them they're ca clearly capable of three starring but a bit of a mixed bag in terms of results 16 Fuzi Zay Lin uh, with a one star win over Lin Yung uh, 83 82 and also a one star loss to 300 a great result for them i reckon 88 87 so they're a clan to watch out for at 15 we've got lin yung the finn family clan they drew with Sinju 90 all uh, also had a, a loss 91 86 to 300 and also uh lost by one to fuzi zalin but came back with a good win against farming kings 83 82 and pretty much demolished thailand pro with a 98-90 win um, towards the end of the ranking period. At 14, we have Thailand Pro. At 13, Utopia OP, with a win over CN1 and two draws, really good draw with Saigon by Night and a draw with Th Thailand Pro. At number 12, a clan that's been pushing uh, on the edge of the rankings for quite some time, China Rush. At 11, a clan that's getting better and better, Dao Mean. At number 10, we have a clan that put up an amazing result, 86 all versus uh, Art of War, we have Hitman. At number nine, the Elite Chinese clan Lulu and Shushu. At number eight, with draws with Thailand Pro and YYMKMA, getting dark. Number seven, down a couple of spots, but still a great clan, Saigon by Night. Number six, the clan that continues their charge up the rankings, Art of War, with their amazing win over In the Dark. They look like a top five contender. Number five, VN Champions currently warring, Exodius and up three zip. Number four, we have MKMA returning to the rankings after the um, the split of YYMKMA, so MKMA come back in at number four. Number three, and what a great run they're having, 300. They uh, beat Lin Yung, they beat Shinju, they beat Saigon, Saigon by Night, they beat Indo Eternity, they beat uh, Fuxi Zhao Lin, 
So what a run they're having up to number three. Number two with three wins and one loss this period with wins over VN champions Exodius and thanks you Bizu. We have in the dark only the one loss to Art of War, a narrow loss, but they still hold their rank because they're running so well. And no surprises, the number one player in the world right now is Fing Chan. Congratulations again. They're miles in front, beating all comers. So continuing to hold their spot. They're a great clan and will anyone ever beat them? Quick look at the points tables. Uh, here we've got rank 18 to 24. You can see the group is spread by less than 200 points. So like any win against anyone in that group will just move someone from the bottom to the top. Uh, the, the point system is quite sensitive to wins and losses. So you can see it's tightly bunched in the 18 to 24 group. Next group, we'll look at uh, 17 to 11. You can see still under 200 points separating them all. So just a, a single win can jump you through the whole group. Um, but you can see it's quite tight in that 11 to 17 range. And for the top 10, look, you've got Feng, Feng Chan, Miles out in front. They could even lose one to a low clan and still hold top spot. They're that good. They're winning by Miles. In the dark, still holding second place. But look at 300. Um, within only 36 points of In the Dark. Great run for them. MKMA back in the rankings, uh, returning to their old point score at 2163. Being champions just slightly behind them at 2148. And then Art of War, what a charge they've had up to 2,118. So very, you know, very hard fought group. But look, Feng Chan, Miles out in front. Now some of you may know that 19th of uh, May saw a very sad day where um, Yun Yu and KMA, so really Yun Yu, um, uh, YY and KMA demerged. Yun Yu have retired as a clan. I just wanted to finish the video with a tribute to Yun Yu. Um, they produced probably the most famous and stunning result of all time in Clan Wars. And this is a tribute to Yun Yu and their famous win over Ice Ice Baby.